Hey guys, how are you? Uh, Nicholas and Catherine here from 123 Migration. Today we're going to talk about um, the three most common ways that you can get a permanent visa here in Australia. So this is just a five minute wrap up. Uh, hopefully it can help you. So what, what are the three? Uh, there are three main routes. Uh, the first one would be uh, to get a sponsor visa. The second one would be a skill independent visa. And the third one would be a partner visa. Yeah, so the, the sponsored visa is really where an employer uh, will sponsor you. They'll give you a contract uh, a minimum of two years. Um, you'll also need to have uh, a quite a good level of English where you can be fluent in the workplace. Um, and also there, there are different opportunities in different regions of Australia. So um, you, you have to be aware that with your occupation, um, it, it's important that you have obviously your education, but also that you have a bit of experience with you, correct? Yes. That's right. And about the age limit is 45 years old. Yeah. So um, really, with that, with the sponsored visa, you need an employer to sponsor you, and you need to have the the right experience and the right and education. The right occupation. Occupation, yeah. because it has to be in one of the lists in Australia. Yeah. Okay. Not the high demand list or the medium uh, demand list. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a in another video. So the, the second way to get um, a permanent visa in Australia is to apply for an independent visa. Now they call it an independent visa because you don't need a sponsor, yep. um, but it works in a different way. Uh, the thing is that it works kind of like a lottery, um, depending on your, your age, your English, your experience, your education, your occupation, all of those sorts of things. Everything gives you points and the more points you have, the more chances you have. That's right. So the more points you have, um, the more chance you have of being selected for an invitation. Okay, so it's on an invitation basis yeah. uh, and there are no guarantees within the process. But generally, the rule of thumb is the more points you have, uh, the, the, more you can, the more chance you have of getting an invitation. That's right. So um, really, the, the main things with this is... Uh, you, you have to think the the age is quite important your experience your education your occupation and generally um, your English is really important because that can give you a huge boost in terms of the, the amount of points you have will give you more points. that's right studying in Australia is uh, a good way to um, yeah. to get points as well so um, the, those are the the two main uh, skilled type of visas that are available. Um, then lastly, there's the uh, partner visa, which is available. Yeah. Um, uh, and that one works if you uh, fall in love or, and get into a relationship with uh, an Australian citizen or a permanent resident. Uh, you have to be married or uh, in a de facto relationship for at least 12 months. So if you want information about de facto relationships uh, and what that actually means, it's probably best to get in touch with us yeah. because it can be a little, a bit, little bit tricky. Yeah. A little bit technical, yes. So, um, and the way that that process works is generally you will apply for a provisional uh, visa and that will take a while for, for you to get and you'll need to remain with your partner while you have that provisional visa. Um, in order to get a, a, permanent, a visa. permanent visa. So generally that process uh, we would expect to take around about uh, three to four years, to tell you the truth, before you get a permanent visa. But you don't need English for that one? No. I mean, you don't have to do a test or... Um... And, and your occupation isn't important, yes. of course, or anything like that. So yeah, that, those are the three main ways that yeah you can, you can obviously um, get permanent residency in Australia. Obviously there are a few more. Uh, if you're looking at uh, skilled visas, then we suggest that looking at studying uh, in Australia because that can certainly give you a lot more points for your independent visa. Um, you may be able to find a sponsor. It will improve your English. You That's know, right. Living in a, in a place where everyone speaks the language. Yeah, exactly right. So the thing is that there are, and obviously you may be able to meet an Australian. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that's right. So, um, look, those are the, the, the three ways. Studying is a pathway to, to help you do that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Uh, it's getting dark here, but um, yeah, have a have a good evening yes. or, or day. Okay. Bye. Guys. Bye. <laughs>